going too far on that onion one on the time thing. I hope maybe it'll play, maybe it won't. I don't really care. <laughs> I'm sorry. Vanity. <laughs> it happens. We all have it. We all we all have vanity. We all wanna feel good. We all wanna look good. Um did that song, um, Things and Dreams Are Made Up by Human Lake, you know, everybody leaves out of an adventure, everybody needs cash to spend, everybody needs love and affection, everybody needs two or three friends, you know, travel the world, and it was, when it was, it's very materialistic on a lot of things, that's why I put it, because it's like, this is what they're trying to sell you and tell you, and they're kind of looking at it like, you know, take time to see the wonder, it's a really, it's, it's kind of a good song, but it's like, Things and Dreams Are Made Of, but it's like, mine was, my dreams are made of was Candida and uh, and just my imagination, you know. So we'll be married and raise a family, a little cozy little home in the country with two children, maybe three. Tell you I can visualize it all. Couldn't be a dream, but for too real, it just all seems that it was just my imagination. Shit. <laughs> I got to go see the wonders of the world. <laughs> Drive around on a plane, beat a girl on her boat, meet a boy on a plane, and fall in love without the pain. <laughs> and take off and meet somebody else and hook up with a new one to have money and love and adventure and have some friends. <laughs> What'd you do? Oh, I screwed a person on a boat to Spain and on a plane to France. <laughs> it was fun. We fell in love, but then I forgot who she was. <laughs> these are the things, and these are the things, the things that dreams are made of. <laughs> Shit, that's not what I want. <laughs> I'm kind of, I'm like, I'm like John Coltrane. I'm old fashioned. <laughs> I'm very old fashioned, but um, not a lot of people are, but um, you can't tie people down to what you want them to be. You have to let them be who they are and love them for who they are. Now, if you meet somebody and she's like, I ain't about settling down, just go, yeah, I dated you before. I was married to you for 10 years. It's excruciating. I love you. Fly, be free. Yeah. <laughs> There's a there's a song called, um, you know, I posted Shelly's Wonder Love for You, but there's two Marty Robbins songs. One, you always come back, uh, Marty, I'm no, sorry, Johnny Rodriguez, Lo siento, so sorry. Um, you always come back to hurt me and pass me by if you're only passing through. <laughs> Good song. You, uh-oh, I'm beginning to believe I only get my kicks from being hurt. Instead of making love feel better, you just make it worse. You tell me go, then call me back, and then you set me free. You always come back to hurting me and pass me by. You know, will you look at what came down the road today? Wanting me to be one more mistake to make. A bridge to burn to get to someone new like Shelly's. <laughs> hey, pass me by if you're only passing through. And that's a good song. I'll post them. Because Johnny's good, man. <laughs> My favorites were... Uh, they were on some albums my sister had, and you can't find them anymore. I hope Pond and Linda still has them, but um, there was um, Love and Honor. Love and Honor never crossed your mind. Love and Honor. So Jimmy was a drinking kind of man, and uh, uh, that old rain is cold and slowly fall. I wonder where you are tonight. Upon my window pane tonight, and oh, your, and oh, your love is even colder. I wonder where you are tonight. He sings it, of course, half English, half Spanish. Almost all his songs are like that. And uh, they're very good. It's just, I grew up, my sister had a big crush on him and played all his records. And we had all his records up till like, you know, every year he'd come out with a new one and, and she would go buy it. And you couldn't help it, man. Johnny was just good. Riding my thumb to Mexico. Patrick, that was one of Patrick's favorite songs. And uh, I'll post that one too. <laughs> you know, But it's just, uh, Johnny Rodriguez was just fun. And then my uh, Cunha, my brother-in-law, came along and he loved Freddie Fender. And he played Freddie Fender, and Freddie did the same thing, half English, half Spanish, so in Spanish. And uh, his stuff was really good, too. And uh, it's just fun. You know, it's Tex-Mex music. And uh, that's why you could, we could get into a lot of the other stuff and get into Selena and other stuff like that. Not to mention that she's very talented. She's a lot of fun, and she's very pretty. And she's very uh, inclusive and kind in, in her culture and the, the way she was looking at different parts of the Mexico and Texas and New Mexico and California and she wasn't uh, she didn't break off into a lot of these secular things that people do she was looking to be inclusive she was trouble <laughs> she was trouble and she was very uh, promoted a lot of uh, things about the culture in a positive way and the girls to feel positive about themselves and not argue amongst each other she was going to be a very positive person like Buddy Holly 
Yeah, so when we lost Selena and we lost Lady Di, those women that died every time we came to Las Cruces and it would be in the paper and we'd go on a Sunday, a Sunday paper, and it, that's, it was hard, you know. And um, I was telling Patrick about it. Like, it, was, it was, you know, everybody in the media was, but it, it really resonated at home because I'd go to that corner quick pick right there off when they lived off Foster and I'd go pick up the paper and I was like, damn, happens every time we come here. We're just going to have to stop coming here, son. Well, the, I felt weird with the Lady Di thing and the, and the Selena thing. I felt a connection between the two of them. Like we had lost somebody trying to do something good for us. And that's what I felt like. And then I felt stupid. I'm like, it's just a media bull crap, man. <laughs> just a bunch of stuff they make up. <laughs> just to make you buy into the media stuff. And, you know, it's just like anybody else. That's how I am. Because I meet people and I'm like, that's cool. And, I, you know, I talk all this stuff. When I meet all these famous people, I'm going to be... And it's like, but I do that with people at the library because they're oh, to me. And, uh, you know, when I met Shadiq the other day, I, yeah, you know, and we sat and we talked, and I'm like, you know, it's, and a lot of people are like, you know, no, I was excited. I was, I was excited to meet Shadiq Shabazz. That's the same thing as me meeting James Harrison or Troy Palomala. Well, but Shadiq just was, I don't know, a conference player and, and uh, played about a year or so with the Raiders, and, um, you know, and so what's the difference? <laughs> well, he played longer and had more success and made more money. Steve so walked on and will admit to you, I wasn't a very good um, high school player. I was I was okay. I kind of blossomed when I hit college, just like Brian Erlacher. You know, he's a decent high school player, and then boom, boom, blossomed. And uh, so, no, yeah, they didn't recruit me. Uh, but I got to walk on, and I got to work hard. And, you know, they're very talented athletes, the Shabazz kids are. And so uh, it's interesting. <laughs> it's, it's interesting, 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 interesting. Um, yeah, no, I, I, I feel that way when I meet, when I met Cynthia today at the library, when I meet the, uh, the, when I meet the young man that comes in and sits next to me, he's always excited to get on the computer and his parents help him out. I'm mean, just as excited to meet him as I am Will Smith, of course. Like I told Natalie that one time when we went to the Dairy Queen in, in, in Sierra Vista. We go to Sierra Vista and the Dairy Queen, the people are nice and we're nice to them, and I'm just excited to have good conversations and talk with them as I am... Um, meeting, quote, megastars. <laughs> so it's like, so we'll talk and say, yeah, this is cool. I mean, we can hang out and be friends and stuff because we have uh, maybe some abilities to influence people and help. But if you're not using your influence to do the right thing, I don't mean do the right thing like you will do it like I say you do it or mm, doom on you. If you didn't plan for the ice age, doom on you. I'm not like that. I mean, it's more like a, is it promoting life? Is it positive? Is it a positive message? Did you have to go kick some ass? Did you who done gone gone and done did that thing done all right? Proud of you, man. You you flexed. You was good, brother. Yeah, it's cool, you know. And well, <laughs> you kicked my ass up. <laughs> Look what you fucking said. Yeah, I was pretty stupid. Will you kick my ass if I do something stupid? You kick your ass before we get a chance to kick it, man. Cause you just like there's a couple of times I leave it hanging out there and it gets, you know. Yeah, but you let somebody else kick it. Well, that's because he was smart enough to use that opportunity and take that opportunity. <laughs> you were just kissing ass. No, I wasn't. I didn't see it coming. <laughs> I'm doing the videos. Thank you, Mr. Lopez. That was nice. <laughs> Can I have another one? <laughs> sure. Okay. Hmm. You have a very special and unique daughter. After talking to your uh, wife and you in an imaginary sense, or what some people tell me, I can see why. Thank you for kicking my ass. I'll remember that. Kind of remind me of mom and dad. Appreciate it. See you later. Watching him quiet. He kicked my ass. It was cool. No, you liked it? Really? I do. I told you that too. With women I meet, and it's like, you know, well, you do deserve this here. You kicked my ass. Oh. Deserved it. Yes. I was being arrogant and stupid. Maria Hendricks. <laughs> she does it to me like all that time. I'm sure her husband just laughs. <laughs> you get some. I could have told him that. <laughs> it was coming from a mile away. She had her foot like. <laughs> Stick your ass out a little bit farther there, Ralph. Just a little bit further. Okay. You're going to stutter. I'm going to hit you so hard. It's going to be like Freddie did young. <laughs> Boom! Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I, I did make a mistake here, and I'm very, very sorry. My name is Earl. It's really fun. Family's beautiful.